Make sure you check out my recipe book, Real Food at Real Simple, your plant-based lifestyle guide for life's daily quest for the best. So if you're looking to lose weight or if you're you know, looking to clear your skin, this is an absolutely awesome beginner's introductory guide to living a plant-based lifestyle. Uh, check it out following the first link in the description box below. Gotta get fucking lean like Derek. Gotta get lean as Derek. Gotta get fucking lean, gotta work out. How's it going guys? Topic for today's video. What I ate today to gain 30 pounds. Now I'm gonna tell you an interesting story. So it starts about four and a half years ago when I first originally got into eating a vegetarian and vegan diet. So I originally got into it um, because I read a blog post on Steve Pavlina's uh, blog talking about how, you know, if you go raw vegan, you can like clear your skin up. And I had like just, just horrific acne at that time. So it's gotten, it's gotten significantly better. Still not exactly where I want it, but it's so much better than what it was. So I went vegetarian for a month. Um, then I started going vegan, started incorporating more vegan meals into my diet. And then my buddy, John, told me about 30 bananas a day. And so within basically two and a half months of me going vegetarian, I started eating basically a raw vegan diet. So I was, you know, buying two cases of bananas a week. And I just making so many, I, I was sick of bananas pretty quickly. Um, so I did that for about probably four or five months. Now, I've always, I've always been relatively slim. I've been into athletics since I was like three years old when I started skating. Like, and I've been playing, I played hockey from the age of like four until I was like 15 or 16. I played competitive hockey um, all throughout public school. I was the fastest runner in my class, the highest jumper, the longest jumper. Um, the only thing that I couldn't win at my public school was a long throw. That was about it. I'd always come in like fourth or fifth. But any running race, any long jump, any high jump, I just, like, the kids in my grade just could not keep up with me. So I've come from an athletic background. And even like when I was in my early 20s, um, I was going to the gym and working out. And I was also playing a lot of ball hockey. So there's actually summer leagues in Canada here where you can play ball hockey on the, on the ice rinks when there was no ice on them. It's so much fun. Kept me in uh, pretty decent shape. So coming to when I was about 24 years old, when I first kind of got into this. Um, so I started eating a plant-based diet. And what I noticed... I was eating basically a raw plant-based diet. I would have like binges on cooked food every once in a while, but predominantly raw. I noticed that I lost a lot of weight. Like I was getting, I was getting real thin, like real skin, real skinny. I wasn't doing, like I was working as an electrician, um, but I wasn't really doing any type of exercise. Um, the only type of exercise that I was doing was yoga. And I would just kind of consider that, like it is, you know, like the, the yogis will be like, it's hard and it's tough. Like, I don't know, I, I find going out and riding my bike at doing a max effort for seven or eight minutes, that's, that's hard, right? When I can't breathe, basically because I'm pushing my body to the, just to the freaking limit, that's hard. Yoga, it's nice, it's relaxing, meditative, it's cool, I love it. Um, but I wasn't really doing any type of exercise at that point. Um, but I had lost, like, I was getting real thin. How I knew I was getting real thin is because... My work pants used to fit me fine, and then I could basically just, like, I needed a belt because they would just fall down below my bum. Like, I was just getting so thin. So, I did that for about four or five months, and I got fired from my job, and basically what ended up happening was I kind of went into this tailspin of, like, depression. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life anymore because um, I'd been working for this contractor for like three and a half years and I did make some mistakes and I did do some stupid things and that's why I got fired, not blaming anybody else for that other than myself. Um, but I went into this like kind of just this tailspin of just not feeling very good. And so what ended up happening was I started doing this kind of really weird binge, binge eating kind of like phase of my life where I would still try to eat a raw plant-based diet. I would still have like a banana smoothie in the morning. But typically, usually like at nighttime, what would happen was I would go out and I would get like one or two of the hot and ready Little Caesars pizza. And then if I was still hungry after that, is I'd go out to McDonald's after that. Now, I'd already been vegan for like four or five months, at, four or five months at this point. So I was just in, in like a really shitty place. Like I was just not feeling good. 
And it was a very, very good learning experience for me to kind of go through that. But I did this kind of like cycle of eating pizza and McDonald's and stuff for I think about four or five months. I also started back um, drinking and going into clubs again and also doing party drugs. So from that, sh- from that time where I, I would probably guesstimate, I was probably down to about 145 pounds, between 145, 150 pounds. When I weighed myself at my max, and this was like August, I can't remember the year, if it would be like 20, 2011 or something like that, I was up to 175 pounds. So this was from about four or five months of doing this cycle of just eating, just shit, partying, drugs, all that kind of stuff. Now I'm back to, I would say, my normal weight, my normal weight or whatever you want to call it. So I'm back down to my weight probably now, if I had to guess, would probably be 146 or 147 pounds, probably around there, might be 148. I don't know. I haven't weighed myself in the longest time. But I know I can get down to about 143 pounds. And that's what this picture is. This picture is me at 143 pounds. And this picture is Derek at 175 pounds. So this, so this is actually, this picture here, I'm actually on a boat cruise in Toronto. And I'm actually high on ecstasy in this photo. So yeah, a lot of people didn't, wouldn't really think that of me. But I used to do, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I was like addicted to party drugs like ecstasy and MDMA. I did them probably once every few months. It wasn't like a common occurrence for me. It was just kind of more just for fun. But what I, what I ate to gain all this weight, it was a lot of, it was a lot of booze, a lot of drinking, and a lot of just animal products and fast food and all that kind of stuff. So I know for a fact that I can gain weight. Like if I wanted to really gain weight, I would just have to start eating animal products. Like, and eating them in mass quantities. And I would start to gain a lot of water retention on my body. And I would start to, um, I would start to gain a lot of fat on my body as well. So I know for a fact, I know for a fact that basically what I eat and basically how I'm feeling about myself determines where my body weight is. So if I'm feeling like shit and I'm eating like shit, then I know I'm going to start gaining weight. If I'm feeling good and I'm eating really good, my body weight is just going to drop, is just going to drop. And even when I'm at like this weight right now, like I have no problems with the weight that I'm at, but I know if I was doing a lot of exercise and I was even eating um, less cooked food, I would drop back down to about 143 pounds. So what I ate today to gain 30 pounds, man, such, it's, such a, it's such a crazy difference. And one of the reasons why I knew that kind of was startling to me that I knew that I gained so much weight. So the pants, the same pants that used to basically come, like I, I couldn't keep them on my body because it, I was just too skinny for them, is I could barely get them buttoned up for work. And that was kind of like, I was like, whoa, I've gained a lot of weight. So when I kind of realized that, what I ended up doing was I quit. So I ended up getting a new job with an, with an electrical contractor. Um, what I ended up doing was getting like quitting my job, selling most, a lot of my belongings and moving out west to BC and just starting fresh. So that's really kind of like where my journey started. Um, but it did technically start about four and a half years ago. Very good learning experience. If you have any questions or comments or if you've lost a lot of weight um, just from taking out animal products, let me know in the comment box below. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Peace out. <laughs>